Hello everyone, Mark here and welcome back to our channel and this is the second part of our uh, Facebook social learning group, a virtual classroom ng ating Facebook. So, kung bago ka pa lamang sa video na to, I've created actually a first part of this. I'll be providing the link on the description at saka doon sa taas yung link para at least click mo na lang magda-direct ka doon sa ating unang part. Kasi doon diniscuss ko kung paano mag-create ng Facebook social learning group and at the same time kung paano ang tamang setup or settings ng ating virtual classroom for Facebook. So on this uh, part, tuturoan ko kayo kung paano mag-create ng units wherein doon natin ipapopulate or doon natin ipopost yung mga materials natin for our online class. So doon sa gilid, makikita natin, we have our units. All you have to do is to click on it. Tapos sa baba, makikita mo, we have your group has a social learning units. Ano nga ba itong social learning units? Kapag sinabi natin units kasi, same as with our books, di ba? May mga unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. So it's almost the same with our virtual classroom. So ang gagawin natin is to click on create unit. Then on our unit name, ilalagay natin dito, example is lesson 1. Which is install and, and configure computer systems. Limbawa, on the unit description, dito natin ilalagay yung mga objectives. Example, this lesson will help you. Then, objective number 1, lalagay mo dyan, objective number 2, then objective number 3. Okay? After that, we have make this unit optional. Just leave it uh, as it is. Then next, just click on create unit. After creating unit, meron tayong apat na option. We have post, file, create quiz, and then more. So more natin, meron tayong tiyatawag na create event. Okay? I-discuss natin yung uh, apat na yan. So first, we have the post. Halimbawa, ang unang ilalagay mo dyan is you're going to add an activity. So ilalagay mo dito, we have activity number 1. Pag bilang pauna, maglalagay ka halimbawa ng picture analysis. Okay? Then we can also add media. So maglalagay tayo ng media by clicking it. Then hahanapin lang natin. Halimbawa, ito. And then on write something, dito natin ilalagay yung direction. Halimbawa, direction. Uh, study the picture attached. What does it tell you about computer? Submit your file in Word document on the following link. Then you're going to type tiny.cc and then lo1css. You can also insert format. Say for example, you have PA tapos underscore full name. Okay? And then just click on post. So na-post na natin yung picture analysis natin. Pangalawa, yung file naman. Ano naman yung file? Say for instance, mag-add tayo ng activity sheets. We can attach document. No? Pwede tayong mag-attach dito ng ng PDF file or ng Word file. So, all you have to do is to click on Choose File. Tapos, we are going to select Document File. After attaching, we can uh, insert direction or instruction dito sa ating uh, file. So, we have direction. We have please download the file below and then submit your Word document on the following link. Dibawa, we have tiny.cc slash lo1 underscore css. Tapos, again, you can insert a format for it. Salimbawa, we have AS. AS stands for activity sheet and then followed by full name. Para at least, ano, pag halimbawa, naghalo yung iyong picture analysis at saka yung iyong activity sheet, uh, madali mo lang siyang masegregate or madali mo lang siyang separate. Why? It's because of the format na binigay mo. Then after that, you can post. And then after, next naman natin is creating quiz. We can create quiz on this virtual classroom. So all you have to do is to click on create quiz. Okay, halimbawa, lalagay natin dito uh, quiz title. Halimbawa, quiz number 1. Tapos passing score. You can include kung ilan yung passing score natin. So I will just leave it as blank. So pwede nyong explore yan. So we have question number 1. CPU is the blank of the computer. Example, we have answer option. Pwede nating ilagay dito is mother. CPU is the mother of the computer. Then we have answer option. We can insert another option here. Halimbawa, we have system. Okay? Halimbawa, apat ang option natin kasi usually naman ng multiple choices, apat. You can just click on add answer. 
para magdagdag siya ng another choices. Halimbawa, we have brain. Then you can add another answer. Halimbawa, we have process. Then as you notice, at the left side ng mga options natin, meron siyang mga check wherein it allows you to check yung tamang sagot. So the correct answer here is brain. The next, we have our explain why this is the answer. Uh, it is also an optional. Halimbawa, meron ka pang explanation bakit yun yung tamang sagot. So you can just write it in there. Okay, so for the sake of demonstration, uh, ililib ko na lang siya as blank. Then, below it, meron kang makikita na add question. Ibig sabihin, that will be the question number 2. So, I will just hit question number 2. Then, lalagay na naman natin dito. We have RAM stands for answer number 1. For example, we have random access memory. Then, second, we have read action memory. Click add another. And then, we have... Uh, read always memory then just click add another then we have read another memory tick again the correct answer so the correct answer here is random access memory and then you can type an explanation for this kung gusto mo the next we have another option here reorder question okay on reorder question once we hit reorder question ayun kaninang in-input natin is cpu is the blank of the computer and then followed by RAM stands for. Once na clinic natin ng re reorder question, no, pwede nating unahin itong RAM papunta sa taas. RAM stands for. So that will be the question number one. Yun naman yung uh, gamit ng uh, reorder. Then just click on done reordering. Tapos, if you're satisfied with the arrangement of the question, all you have to do is to click on done. So nakapag-create na tayo ng Please. Can I attach video, video link on this virtual classroom? Yes. Give your post a title. For example, ang title nito is activity number 2. For example, activity number 2, we have the video presentation. Then, uh, I am going to paste the link. Once we paste the link, kokopyahin niya na rin yung thumbnails niya. Before ng link natin, you can insert again a direction. Halimbawa, direction. Watch the video by clicking the link below. This video will help you in answering the activity sheet. And then, then after that, you can just click on post. Next, what's next? We can just click on more and then we have create event. Okay? So on create event naman, you can upload a photo or an image of your event. And then we have our event name. Halimbawa, we have synchronous Synchronous Online Learning. Halimbawa. Then, just click on uh, Event Type. Hit lang natin yung Event Type. Then, we have Event Format. You can use Messenger Room. Pwede natin or pwede kayong gumamit ng Messenger Room since you are utilizing Facebook. But if you want to use external link, you can use link in here. Create na ako ng Zoom Meeting. All I have to do is to post it in here. And then, Followed by, include a place or address. Pwede mong ilagay din yan. Then, description. Uh, pwede mong ilagay dito sa description natin is Zoom uh, meeting. For example, then we have the start. I scheduled it on August 24 at exactly 9.30. So, same as with this, August 24. At matatapos yan ng mga around 10.30. So, you can click on Add Schedule in here para mag-reflect sa, sa iyong virtual classroom. Dito sa Describe, you can type Synchronous Online Learning. And then, next, we have August 24, 9.30. Then, you can just click on Save. And then, just click on Create. And we're done in creating event. On event, makikita natin dito, makikita na rin ng mga student mo yung Synchronous Online Learning no, hosted by Mark Bikabat Butler Teacher. So, we have one going, zero maybe, two invited. Yan. So, makikita lahat ng mga, ng mga student mo yan. Next, paano ba natin babalikan yon? All you have to do is to click on ito. DMNHS SHS Computer System Servicing para bumalik tayo doon sa may content na ginagawa natin. So, makikita natin dito, we now have our Unit 1. Ito yung Unit 1 natin. Then, under Unit 1, we have Lesson 1, Install and Configure Computer System Servicing. Then, we have Quiz number 1, Activity Worksheet number 1. We have Picture Analysis, Activity number 2, Synchronous Online Learning. 
we can actually rearrange this. So, paano natin re rearrange to? So, kiklik lang natin yung tatlong dots dito. And then, we have edit unit. Once we click on edit unit, ito yung sinasabi natin sa naunang video na difference nitong virtual classroom is that you can arrange lahat ng mga pinost mo. So, pwede nating i-rearrange din ito. So, halimbawa, ang mauna dapat ay si picture analysis. So, ilalagay ko siya doon, followed by um, a video presentation, for example. And then, followed by, we have our activity sheet. Then, followed by synchronous online learning and then we have our quiz number one and then all you have to do is to click on save and then at the same time pwede mo na rin i-edit yung description kung halimbawa nagkamali ka okay just click on save so, makikita ng mga estudyante yung pagkaka-arrange niya ah eto pala yung unahin ko followed by the video presentation and then we have our activity sheet and then meron kaming uh, event a synchronous online learning and then after synchronous online learning meron kaming Quiz number 1. Dito natin makikita yung completion. Completion ng iyong unit. Another thing is, if you want to delete this, just click on the three dots and then we have the delete unit. Okay? This time, tignan natin as student. Click lang natin ito. And then, ayun, ganito yung magiging itsura kapag student. Titignan natin, we have the go to units. Okay? So, once we hit, no? Once the student hit the picture analysis, pag pinindot ng sudyante, yung ano, analysis, makikita mo dan, we have direction, mababasa mo yung direction na nilagay natin, an instruction, and at the same time, kapag tapos na ng sudyante, dito yung part na makikita mo yung done. Pwedeng i-click ng sudyante yung done, ibig sabihin na natapos niya na yung picture analysis and submitted the file document on tinyurl or tiny.ccl01.css. Same as true with activity number 2. Pag napanood na niya yan, pwede niyang i-click yung done. Indication na napanood niya na rin yung video. Then next, we have the activity sheet or activity worksheet. Pwede niya rin i-click yung done. Okay? And then we have asynchronous uh, online learning. Pwede niyang i-click din yung done kapag halimbawa nag-attend siya ng synchronous online learning. After that, pwede niyang i-take yung quiz. Once na nag-take siya ng quiz, pipindutin niya lang yung take quiz. Then on this part, bibilisan natin yung bagtik ng quiz. Then once na nag-refresh yan, makikita ng estudyante yung uh, completion niya. We have 5 over 5 posts completed. Ibig sabihin, natapos niya na yung unit na yun. Okay? So makikita niya rin doon sa may baba na congratulations, you have passed the quiz with a score of 100%. Okay? And at the same time, pwede niyang or pwede siyang mag-retake kung halimbawa ay hindi niya na perfect yung quiz. Okay? So, yun. Tignan naman natin doon sa ating group. We have the units. Ayan. As teacher naman, as teacher naman, makikita natin dito, one of one required unit completed. Makikita mo dito kung ilan na ang natapos na estudyante doon sa unit na ginawa mo. Okay? If you're going to create another unit, eto, click mo lang ulit yung create unit and then babalik ulit tayo sa unang process. And that's it for our part 2 ng Facebook Social Learning Group. And what is the advantage of a Facebook Social Learning Group compared to the other LMS or the Learning Management System? Si Facebook Social Learning Group para sa akin is user-friendly. Why? It's because yung mga estudyante natin is familiar na sa interface ng Facebook. So, madali na lang nilang magagamay or madali na nilang mamanipulate kung ano yung mga pipindutin sa mga parts ng ating Facebook social learning group. Number two, for those students na gumagamit lang ng free data, kahit pa paano, even though naglagay tayo ng mga external link and then yung mga output nila, ilalagay nila sa mga Google Drive din lang. Okay, kahit pa paano, eh, yung mga free data user ng mga student natin is mababasa yung mga instruction natin. Compare with the other LMS na talagang gumagamit ng internet. So that is, I guess, the advantage of this Facebook social learning group. Yun nga lang, ang disadvantage niya, since we are just using uh, Facebook, limited lang siya. Like, uh, sa checking ng mga activities, halimbawa, yung activity sheet na nilagay natin, ay manually nating i-check. And sa mga quizzes, okay, sa mga quizzes, halimbawa, um, unlike with the other LMS, like, 
like Google Classroom na meron siyang capability na mag-check at mag uh, at automatic na mag-record sa class record ng ating Google Classroom. So that's the disadvantage na nakikita ko. Again, if you think that this video is helpful, uh, hit like and then comment down below. Again, this is Sir Mark. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you all. Thank you very much.